First, the Target 12 Investigators Exclusive. Feel the burn. Once again, we're looking out for your tax dollars. How is it you can't be a firefighter, but you can be such a disciplined weightlifter? I'm not a disciplined weightlifter. Last night, we brought you this undercover video showing a former firefighter who claims he was injured so badly that he can no longer wear the uniform. Yet we find him pumping iron at a local gym. Tonight, our investigation continues. We take a hard look at a law designed to check up on disability pensions and uncover some potential flaws in the system. Let's get right to Target 12 investigator Tim White with the exclusive details. More than 430 Providence retirees collect a tax-free accidental disability pension for getting hurt on the job. A new city ordinance means they're supposed to go out and confirm that they're still too hurt to work every year. But we find three years into that new law, the policy has few teeth. This is retired Providence firefighter John Sorrow working out at a local gym. For the last 11 years, he has collected a tax-free disability pension for injuring his right shoulder on the job. Yet day after day, our undercover unit finds him pumping iron. Here he is lifting 205 pounds over his head. On this day, a shoulder exercise using 150 pounds. This exercise has Sorrow hanging, arms above his head an intense workout routine that we discover he sticks to religiously. How is it you can't be a firefighter, but you can be such a disciplined weightlifter? I'm not a disciplined weightlifter. Why can't you be a firefighter? I'm disabled as far as being a firefighter. Okay. How did you hurt yourself? Uh, carrying somebody down three flights of stairs. According to records at Providence City Hall, Sorrow was one of 390 retirees who had their injury recertified in 2010. That means he filled out the appropriate paperwork, letting the city know he's still too hurt to work. How are you feeling about your ordinance as a measure to deal with this kind of a problem? Well, clearly from that film, um, from the, like you said, almost like the laugh test, that any average individual will be saying that individual clearly is no longer or probably should be receiving the disability pension. Councilman John Igliozzi designed the ordinance in 2008, and it was touted by then-Mayor David Cicilline as a way to crack down on phony disability pensions. But Target 12, combing through records at City Hall, discovered the law has not overturned a single accidental disability pension since it went on the books. So is it working? So if it's not working as it was designed, it's clearly going to have to be visited. A report commissioned by new mayor Angel Tavares agrees. It states the city should reconsider the recertification process. Presently, disability pension recipients are examined by their personal physician to assess their continued disability status. The city should consider requiring a more independent appraisal. It's not the city's choice. No, it's the per personal physician, but if his, his, if his uh, um, health isn't called into question, the board, board can bring them in and ask them for another doctor. They can do that. Would you like to see that done with this individual? Well, clearly that it, ha it has to be done. Not what I'd like to. On behalf of the province taxpayers, it has to be done. And Igliozzi tells me he does plan on bringing Soros' case before the retirement board. Now, by city law, the board can order someone back to work or they can reduce their benefits to a regular taxable service pension if they've reached their retirement age. At 48 years old, Soros has not. Live with the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News. Responses to our Target 12 investigation have been pouring in since it aired. Now, we've received a lot of comments via email and on our website. For example, Rob sent us this email saying, quote, On a regular basis, you expose this garbage, and yet it almost seems as if they could care less. This comment was left on our website, WPRI.com. What the general public doesn't understand is that there is a different standard to be fit to be a firefighter than there is for other jobs that don't involve the unpredictable life and death extreme physical demands a firefighter faces on any given day. And James from Warwick says, quote, I welcome this type of reporting to our state and applaud your steadfastness in this area. WPRI is certainly a champion for fairness and truthfulness for the people of Rhode Island.